What's up YouTube, welcome back to a new workout video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, probably like three years or something like that. So yeah, I thought I'd bring them back. I'm hopefully gonna do them quite consistently and hopefully you enjoy them. I thought I'd give you a bit more of an insight into my training and also I just want to upload a bit more consistently. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy these videos. I'm gonna to try to keep it, you know, fairly raw, but I might cut up, you know, a little bit of stuff just so it's not, you know, too long or too boring. I'm gonna try and make it entertaining at least. <laughs> So yeah, I've already done my isometrics, so on to McGill Big 3 next. That's just for some core stability and to help my back, so I've had back problems in the past. And then we'll get onto a dynamic and a barbell warm-up, and we'll get into some power cleans. I am now back from my trip from the US, so yeah, it's back to you know the grind, back to working hard. Um, I was kind of on like a maintenance type cycle um, while I was in the US, so just sort of jumping well the whole time and staying healthy. Uh, but yeah, so we're starting a new training cycle now, and yeah, hopefully we can and start pushing into the 40s of my vertical this year, which would be, you know, really awesome. I believe my best is already like around a 40. Um, I haven't officially tested a 40 yet, so I'm not gonna, you know, go and say I have a 40 just yet, but uh, you know, my, my best jumping days have definitely been uh, up there for sure. All right, so we're gonna crack into the cheat code. Um, so I've had kids, uh, <laughs> but no, I don't always like taking caffeine. Um, I prefer to take caffeine on dunk days, so I keep my tolerance, you know, low for it. Um, so yeah, when I just work out, I just have Sour Patch Kids because, you know, caffeine can disturb my sleep as well. So yeah, let's go with sugar, you know, give me a quick, a quick boost. All right, one thing I'm trying to do is, you know, just use like a basketball, you know, just like do some hand speed drills like throughout the day and stuff like that to sort of keep it in my hands. And yeah, just trying to improve my hand speed because I'm trying to unlock a lot of dunks this year. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to go for 80 kg um, for three, so what's that, like 180 pounds? Something like that, I think, maybe. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've just been working in pounds for the past seven weeks <laughs> and converting them in my head all the time, so um, I, can't, I can't really remember, but something like that. This is something that I haven't had for a while, which is liquid chalk. I didn't have it while I was um, in the States, but yeah, well, I've got it now. Um, I'm back home, so. I'm going to put it on. It definitely does help because my hands do get pretty sweaty, especially when I'm trying to grip the bar. So, um, you know, by the second rep, you know, I was, my hands are just slipping. So, um, yeah, it definitely helps. So we'll give it a go. If you don't know what liquid chalk is, it is pretty self-explanatory, actually. It is liquid um, that you put on your hands, uh, some, some white liquid. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you just rub it in and let it dry. Let's go. One. Two. Come on, let's get it. One more. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, that felt pretty decent. Um, well, Loki lightheaded. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with 85 for the next set. Um, and then we'll try 90 if that still feels good. Because I'm supposed to go at 80% of my, 85% of my one rep max. And um, the most I've ever done is 105 kg for one. Um, but that is like all time, and I don't think I'm quite there at the minute, so if I can get 85, I'll still be more than happy. But yeah, that moved better than I thought, so yeah. Oh, my cardio's trash. <laughs> I can't lie, I hate, I hate any reps over two. <laughs> Even two reps are sometimes too much, but hey, let's get it. I just like pushing heavy weight for one rep, <laughs> but let's go. I think that's why I'm not consistent with upper body training because I just don't like doing like eight, 12 reps. Screw that, man. Let's just rip some heavy weight. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. It's 
Since lightweight, this ain't nothing. <sighs> this ain't nothing. <sighs> I've done 20 more kg than this before. This ain't nothing. Come on. Let's rip this. Come on, let's go. Come on, last rep. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we did it. Oh, lightheaded. <laughs> All right, nice. Now, can we do it again for another three? For the last set is the question. <laughs> yeah, easy. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, respectfully, if you're watching my video right now, to still getting your workout done, pause this video right now and go do your workout. Stop being lazy. Stop being lazy. Everyone wants to find the simplest way to get there. Just work hard. <laughs> if you ain't making progress, you're gonna get left behind. And guess what? If you get left behind and you ain't happy with your progress, no one else cares. <laughs> You're the only one that cares, for the most part, if you make an improvement in the next month or so. So, just shut up, get your workout done, and then come back to this video and give me, you know, keep watching the video, of course. <laughs> but if you've already done your workout today, well done. I hope it went well. I hope you're injury free. And I hope the rest of your training, re training week goes well. And if you're a dunker, I hope your dunk session goes well. If you're not a dunker, let me know in the comments what other sport you play. It'd be interesting to see if any non-dunkers are watching uh, my channel. So yeah, if you do play any other sports, let me know. All right, gonna get another layer of the liquid chalk on. Liquid chalk is hella good because like, you know, it doesn't make a mess. So yeah, I like it. And um, if any liquid chalk companies out there <laughs> somehow find themselves watching this video and you want to send me a load, feel free. <laughs> All right, it's been five minutes of a rest period between my last set and this set, so I think it's time to stop procrastinating and get it done. Come on, 85 kg for three, come on. I just did it for three, just got to do it one more time. Well, three more times, technically, but one more set. As you can see, I'm procrastinating right now because I'm speaking to myself. Well, I'm speaking to YouTube, so that's an excuse, but I speak to myself a lot. <laughs> First sign of madness. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Come on. Make, make sure my AirPods don't fall out mid-set. All right. Come on, three reps. This is gonna, this is gonna kill me. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> I promise this isn't an endless loop video where I just don't end up doing the set. I actually will do the set. All right, let's do it. Let's do it for real now. All right, come on. Let's go. <sighs> come on. Yes, look, let's go. Let's go. That set was actually easier than the last one, so that's good. Oh, lightheaded, lightheaded. <laughs> let's go. Hey, we'll take that. Yeah. All right, my strength is actually feeling pretty good. Yeah, I feel really good, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. Yeah, I was actually afraid because I was doing so much maintenance work for so long that I was going to lose my strength. But now it looks like I've maintained it. So I'm super happy with that. 
I reckon I could have maybe, if I was going for a one rep max, I reckon I could have, I could have grinded out close to 100, I, I reckon, 100 kg. I think, I think so. And my body weight is super low right now, so yeah, that's a really good sign. I'm really excited. Yeah, I've got a really big session um, on Saturday with all the UK guys, so yeah, that's going to be really sick. It's going to be a big group session, so be sure to stay tuned for that, most definitely. I'm hopefully going to upload it on Sunday. Um, today is actually Wednesday, um, the 3rd of April. It's my birthday yesterday, so that's the only reason I know, but I've kind of lost track of time. And so yeah, I'm hopefully going to upload this Wednesday session on Friday. I'm going to upload last week's session today, and then Saturday's session Sunday. I'm saying this to keep myself accountable, so I hope I've actually done this. <laughs> All right, so next exercise, I'm supposed to do 15 reps of leg extension machine. Obviously, I don't have a leg extension machine. So we're gonna target the quads. Similar way, we're gonna go with front squats. So front squats is probably my least favorite exercise. And 15 reps is also pretty disgusting. But hey, if you don't wanna do it, sounds like your pussy hurts. So we're gonna do it. All right, so this isn't gonna to be too heavy for us. So we're gonna start off with 40 kg since obviously it's very high reps. Uh, <laughs> so it's gonna be murder either way. So we're gonna see how 40 goes. Last time I did the cycle, I did between 30 and 50. So yeah, we'll just start again. Uh, see where my strength is at. Like I said, I absolutely hate front squats, <laughs> but we move. So I'm gonna switch out my shoes as well. Um, I power clean in these Kobe's because they're flat and I like flat clean uh, flat shoes for pulling from the floor. I mean, if I deadlift, I just go bare feet um, or in socks, but for cleans, just some flat Kobe's is what I like. Uh, and then for squatting, I'll obviously change to my squat shoes. Um, the reason behind this is because when I wear squat shoes when power cleaning, I kind of feel like when I catch the weight, I'm kind of like falling forwards because my heels are raised so much. Um, so yeah, I personally just don't really like it. So. Let's try to keep my elbows up a bit more of the sun. I'm gonna put it up to 45 kg. Um, yeah, go from there. People are like, oh, why don't you play basketball anymore? Um, you know, you got some, you got a little bit of hot snow, you know, you play basketball. Well, well, the main reason is because I don't want to risk injury. You know, people, people will be undercutting you. People don't even want you to get, you know, any highlights or have any fun. So they'll just try and undercut you, knock you when you're going up into the air. So that ain't worth it. And two, I couldn't last a quarter. <laughs> My, my cardio, my cardio is too bad to last a quarter, so. I've seen people get injured in some of the most friendly of pickup games, so. What's the point? Like, I've got nothing to prove with basketball. I know I'm not gonna make the NBA. <laughs> not by any, any stretch of imagination am I ever gonna make any pro league in basketball, so. Really have no, no desire to put any effort into it. Um, I'd rather just practice dunking, because it's fun. I enjoy the weight room. Yeah, this fantastic sport and the community is amazing. So yeah, the honest community is amazing. <laughs> Some people um, put a little bit of disrespect on the sport, but we won't go into that. <laughs> you know, I'm really wondering if I could have done 90 kg for two, uh, for three even on them power cleans. I reckon I might have been able to. Hey, maybe next week we will. Because like I said, it's only six out of 10 up here. And I do still want to jump pretty decent this weekend. And then, yeah, happy that. Will I get my first display this weekend? 
watch and find out. <laughs> Alright, so it's just started raining, as per usual in England. <laughs> so hopefully you can't hear it too loud. If you can, hopefully it's like some ASMR. So, hey, ASMR um, lift. <laughs> if you're watching this at night, hopefully this, this is quite relaxing. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you can't really escape the rain. When you live in England, there wasn't even forecast to rain today, but hey. Ah, oh, I missed the Florida sun. <laughs> All right, let's go, fourth set. <laughs> drop it onto here because I've got RDLs next so make it easier um, I've got to be careful with RDLs because they used to flare up my back a ton so I'm going to start at 60 kg and just work my way up from there because this exercise has took me out many times <laughs> so yeah we'll work up with it gonna go some straps haven't used straps in a while I didn't have them while I was away so yeah I need them for RDLs just so my grip isn't a limiting factor and I keep my form good. But yeah, that felt pretty easy, so. Now I don't wanna increase my RDL too quickly, because like I said, I've had problems in the past with it, so yeah, we'll keep it steady, uh, but obviously still challenging. This is the healthiest I've ever been for this long period of time. Um, touch, knock on wood. But, yeah, got to maintain that obviously. When you're the healthiest is sometimes when you're, you're the most vulnerable. So even if you are healthy, make sure you're, you're staying diligent, you know, with your isometrics, keeping your knees healthy, keeping your Achilles healthy. You know, I had a little bit of an Achilles flare up a few weeks ago uh, when I was trying 360 scoop. So, yeah, so something you got to stay on top of um, to make sure you don't then get injured. You know, I still do the McGill Big Three every single day, even though I haven't had, you know, back pain that's caused me any problems in a year, something like that. But still got to do it every single day because, you know, I remember the days where I couldn't get out of bed hardly. You know, I couldn't even put my own socks on because my back was hurting that much. So got to be grateful for you know, when you do have health and just make sure you maintain that. That's the bigger thing, you know. I always thought that, you know, you had to train, you know, the most, you know, if you weren't training, you know, more than everyone else, then you're not getting ahead. Whereas you just need to train well and stay healthy because trying to train too much is what made me not able to train at all. So, you know, sometimes, you know, rest is the best exercise. I think Jordan Kilgannon said that. Um, Shout out, shout out to Jordan Kugan as well. He gave me a lot of tips um, while, he, while he was staying with us in North Carolina. So yeah, that was super dope. I'm definitely going to be trying the 360 scoop this weekend. <laughs> Why did that just feel so awkward? Eh? But yeah, we're going to go for that. Um, East Bay. I'm hoping I can, I can knock out an East Bay pretty quickly. You know, it's going to be 9, 10.5 this weekend. So lower than what I've been used to um, over the past couple of months. So if I can get that out of the way nice and quick, oh boy. It'll be a fun session, let me tell you. <laughs> You're definitely going to want to know what's that video. And um, yeah, I'm just hyping it up now. Um, so yeah, I try not to put too big expectations on myself. You know, the session that I'm going to be uploading today, I've, I've been sick the whole week and I wasn't expecting to do, you know, anywhere near as good, you know, as I thought I was going to. I, I thought I was going to do terrible actually. And it ended up being the highest jumping day of my life. So <laughs> that's just what's going to happen, man. I mean, you know, when people get really down about not having a good jumping day, uh, sometimes it just is unpredictable, man. You just, you just can't predict, you know, when your best jumping days will be sometimes. You know, you can do all the measures you can to try and give yourself a good jumping day, but to have your best jumping day ever, there's so many variables, man. It's, in, it's insane. <laughs> you know, the court comes into play. You know, who you're with comes into play. Having adrenaline, uh, how well-rested you are, how well you've been eating, 
what your CNS is like, if that's fatigued, even if your muscles aren't sore, you know, your CNS might be fried. So many factors, this is insane. So yeah, just train as hard as you can and just see what happens. <laughs> Although adrenaline is probably the biggest thing. Adrenaline helps a ton. Okay, so now we've got some seated calf raises with a three second pause at the top. And I'm gonna take my squat shoes off for this, obviously just for some better range of motion. And I'm gonna put a plate on the floor here. Um, don't know if you can see that kind of. Um, but yeah, obviously I haven't got a seated calf raise machine. Uh, that would be quite nice, but I'm just gonna put a plate on my, on my knees. And yeah, just essentially just push down. Yeah, it's, it's kind of makeshift, but Hey, it, it, it works, so we're gonna go with it. So six reps. I'm only gonna show you like, I'm probably gonna show you one set of this because it's all the same, so yeah. All right, so yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. You know, let me know if you want to see some more of these workout videos. You know, it's definitely something that I'm going to want to keep doing, you know, more often. So yeah, you know, definitely let me know. Uh, you know, give the video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. Th thank you for all the support on, you know, the recent videos. Um, had the, the session with Isaiah and Jordan hit 100K views, which is mental. If you haven't seen that already, definitely check that out. Um, yeah, if you like these longer videos, you know, like I said, just let me know. And yeah, I'll keep doing them because this is, this is fun to do, so. Yeah, and I'll see you in my next video, I guess, which will probably be a dunk session. So, yeah, see you then.